Our top focus at 11 amid the showdown between Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal and Lieutenant Governor Najib Jung. Now, AAP Senior Leader Kumar Vishwas has taken a swipe at Jung. Now, in a post on his Twitter account, Kumar Vishwas called the Lieutenant Governor Ajib Jung trying to play on the name of Najib Jung. Vishwas posted the tweet early this morning, sharing a link of media reports on the ongoing tussle between the AAP government and the Lieutenant Governor over the appointment of top officers in the national capital. The AAP leader's jibe at the LG apparently indicates the confrontation between the Chief Minister and the Lieutenant Governor and shows that it is likely to further intensify. Uh, that war of words playing out between the Aam Admi Party and uh, Lieutenant Governor Najib Jung. The entire controversy started uh, with AAP uh, questioning the appointment of uh, Shakuntala Gamblin as Chief Secretary of Delhi on the orders by, of the Lieutenant Governor. As a power tussle between Delhi Chief Minister Arvind K. Jival and Najib Jung intensifies bureaucrats at various levels are finding it difficult to discharge their duties. That's what Headlines Today has learnt. According to an exclusive Mail Today report, at least 20 senior officers are lobbying to get uh, out of the Delhi administration. The officers are seeking central deputation or assignments in other states. According to a senior officer, the political leadership is being harsh on the bureaucracy and lowering their morale. The Kejival Jung tussle has scared officers to the extent that even those currently posted outside the capital are reluctant to join the Delhi government. Senior officials claim that this will have a direct bearing on governance in Delhi as officers will hesitate in taking decisions. A Delhi government officer said no concrete work had been undertaken during the, three, during the first three months of the AAP government. The bureaucratic heads of almost all major departments, including those related to revenue, have been targeted by the government in the recent past. This will affect the financial health of the government as well as it will slow down infrastructure growth, officials pointed out. Not just this, the bureaucrats in uh, the Delhi administration are also not happy with Kejriwal's working style. Government sources uh, say some senior IS officers have been put on compulsory weight and not given postings. Earlier 1984 batch officer Arvind Ray was removed as principal secretary home by Kejriwal as the chief minister did not like his style of functioning. With Kejriwal and Jung locked in a bitter clash headlines today has accessed uh, a note by Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sodia that provides a whole new dimension to the snowballing turf war between bureaucrats and the political leadership. In the noting dated 13th of May, Sisodia puts forward a proposal to appoint Chakuntala Gamblin or Padimal Rai as the acting chief secretary in the absence of KK Sharma who had gone on a 10-day leave. The noting had been signed off by Sisodia with an approval of K. Jival. The noting clearly shows that the Delhi government was uh, amenable to Shakuntala Gamblin's appointment to the post. The noting implies that K. Jival's opposition to Gamblin appears to be an afterthought. It's also possible that Gamblin is being used as a pawn to wage a war against the centre and Najib Jung. As the face of snowballs, let's listen in to an extract from AAP leader H.S. Pulka's conversation with Gaurav Savant on last night's edition of News Today at 9. And I have been clearly told that the Delhi government had recommended also the name of the principal secretary of finance. The principal secretary of secretary finance, the lieutenant governor had not agreed. Then the lieutenant governor was conveyed because the noting is prepared by the officers below. And they are sent to the minister. And on that, the lieutenant governor was informed that against uh, Mrs. Gamblin, there are few allegations that she lobbied for the discoms.